Welcome to Counter-Strike Mapping Academy. I'm your host, Sammy Chimonahihi Aliyubi. In this tutorial, we will continue our meshwork manipulation series of videos to get a deeper dive into the commands that can be performed while in faces mode. We will go over all the possible commands, including examples on how to use them. An open face is defined as a face that has open edges along its outer perimeter. This can apply to a single face or the entirety of the selection of faces. A closed face is a face that has closed edges on its outer perimeter. This can also apply to a single face or the entirety of the selection of faces. Merge Mesh will take the selected face and combine them into the same mesh instead of being separated individually. This operation must be on two different meshes to combine them into the same selection. Extract faces will take the selected faces and separate them into their own individual mesh. This is useful if you want the mesh to later become its own entity. With this technique, we can create window frames and change these portions into its unique glass entity. Detach faces separates the face into its own separate mesh, but will still keep them as the same object. If you want to have a mesh where the majority of the faces are similar, except for a few, this operation will let you make mass manipulations on those faces while keeping the detached faces separate. Bridge faces will create new faces between the two selections. Your selections must have the same number of edges for bridge to work. Interpolated bridging will bridge the two faces together in segmentations that are specified by the number of steps. You can manipulate the curvature of the faces by manipulating the arms of the gizmos. This can be used to create quick arches if the faces are both facing the same direction on the same plane. Thickening faces must be performed on open faces. This operation will thicken the selection, creating an extrusion that is based on the current grid size. One way to use this command is to take a cylinder that has had both of its end caps removed and thickening it to create an interior shell. Combined faces will merge the selected faces by dissolving the edges between them. The selection must be a part of the same mesh and must have closed edges between the faces. Collapse faces will merge the vertices of the face or faces to the midpoint onto a single vertex. This can be useful to make quick pyramids or cones. Remove bad faces will take all of the selected meshes that have invalid faces and remove them. These are indicated by red lines that appear in the hammer editor. You can move the pivot of the selected face by pressing insert to switch to the pivot selector. You can also hold down tab and click to select the pivot point. If you want to reset the position, press clear pivot. The edge cut tool gives you the ultimate control for cutting into the mesh and creating specific vertices on the selected face. The grid size determines where you can place the cuts. As you move your cursor around, the number of units on either side of the selector indicates the length of each side if that cut is made. You can finish your operation by pressing enter, or if you want to place sequential cuts, you can press spacebar or B. Pressing V will activate loop cut mode. Here you can create loop cuts across the entirety of the mesh on the selected loop. Holding down control will allow you to place cuts without any grid restrictions. Selecting Uniform Offset will offset the edge a constant distance from one of the neighboring edges. Here you can see how it changes the distance across a mesh. Selecting Flip Uniform Offset will change the neighboring edge to place the offset on. Quad Slice allows you to specify how to evenly divide up your face across the X and Y plane of the selected faces. Subdivision is an operation that will apply subdivided frames for the faces that can later be used for vertex painting and terrain deformation. You can increase and decrease the subdivision levels manually on the selection panel, 
or increase slash decrease the level with the period and comma buttons. Baking the subdivision will solidify the wireframe into its own face. With subdivision, we can paint vertex blends onto the material. The higher the subdivision level, the more detailed the vertex paint will be. Another use for subdivision is terrain deformation using the displacement tool. Invert Mesh will flip the current mesh of the selection so that its faces are swapped to the opposite side. The Drop Bevel slash Inset tool is a recently added operation which allows a number of possibilities. You can use this to essentially thicken faces with an inset. This can be done with a group of faces acting as one selection, or you can have the operation segment the modification on a per face basis. This is also useful for creating insets around the selection if you have an extrude value of zero. With drop bevel, it is possible to instantly create a thickened protrusion such as this arch wall. With inset, you can quickly create trim around the perimeter of your meshes. Select Loop will select all the faces in the direction of the second selection. Growth slash Shrink Selection will either add or subtract the faces that are contiguous to the current selection. Press plus to add more faces and minus to remove them. Move Path Trace Down will move the currently selected faces down until it collides with another mesh. The Clipping Tool is one of the most useful tools to cut faces into new segments. Clip faces by clicking and dragging the clip line based on the currently selected grid size. You can determine which side it will keep, as well as whether or not you want to cap the new cut with a face. This tool can be used for a single face, but can be fairly effective cutting across multiple faces that are adjacent or across the entire hammer grid if needed. Move to furthest face is an operation that will align your faces with the selected extremity shown on the wheel. This is useful for lining up your selections and ensuring they are flush with each other at the designated distance. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on faces in our Meshwork Manipulation series. Please like, subscribe, and join our Discord for more help, and to participate in all of our community events, play our games, and our maps.